astronomers, and welcome back to Science with Miss Pearson. We have learned so much in our astronomy unit in first grade science. We've talked about the sun. We know the sun sides, it rises in the east and sets in the west. You've got it. We also learned a lot about this object over here called the moon. We know that the moon is present during the daytime and the nighttime. We also know that the moon moves around the earth. And as it moves, we see it as different shapes. So sometimes the moon can look like a little toenail and sometimes it can look like a big circle like the sun. We also recently started talking more about seasons. We know that there are four different seasons. There's fall, there's spring, summer, fall, and winter. And during these seasons, the world can look very different and feel very different. So during the spring, there's lots of flowers growing. It starts to get a little warmer. During the summer, it's very green and very hot. During the fall, all the leaves fall off the trees and it looks very orange and yellow and brown and red around. During the winter, we can see snow and it can get very cold. What we're gonna talk about today is something called temperature. Temperature is how hot or cold something is. So we're gonna talk about the temperature during the different months of the year. We measure temperature using what's called a thermometer. Say that with me, thermometer. And how a thermometer works, it looks just like this, is that as this red liquid moves up, 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 that means the temperature is hotter, so it's hotter outside. But if that, temp but if that red liquid is low, 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 that means that it's colder outside. So if we look closely at this thermometer, we can see the red line stops a little bit below the 100, somewhere around maybe 98. So that would mean that it was 98 degrees outside. 98 is very hot. If it was 98 degrees outside, you definitely would wanna be in shorts and a t-shirt. I would try to go to the pool to cool off or maybe drink some lemonade and water because it would be very hot. Now, if the temperature was down here, maybe in the 30s or 40s, then it'd be very cold and I know I would need a jacket or a hat or a sweater or some gloves or maybe even some boots. So, over the last year, as a scientist, I thought, hmm, why don't I see what the temperature is about each month and let's see if there's a pattern. And guess what? I noticed there is a pattern. Let's see if you see the same pattern as me. So I found that during the month of December, the temperature was normally around 41 degrees. When it became January, the temperature got a little bit lesser. It was a smaller number. It was 36 degrees, which means that it got colder. I saw in February, the temperature was 39 degrees. We know that 39 is bigger than 36, so it got slightly warmer, but that's still very cold. And March is around 45 degrees. Again, getting warmer, but still a little cold. In April, the temperature is around 56 degrees, getting warmer. In May, it was 66 degrees, and it was perfect. Outside felt so good. And then in June, did it get warmer or colder? Yeah, in June it got warmer because 76 is more than 66. It was awesome in June. I had so much fun playing outside. And then in July, what happened? Did it get warmer or colder? Ooh, it got warmer. 88 or 81 is definitely bigger than 76. I know that from looking in the tens place. And then in August it became 80. Did it get warmer or colder? slightly colder, but it was still hot, hot, hot. Then in September, it got to 72. So it got a little cooler, and now it was the perfect degrees. I could go outside. I didn't need a coat. I didn't 
But I also wasn't sweating. It wasn't really, really hot. In October, it went to 61 degrees. So did it get warmer or colder? Yeah, it got a little bit colder. I needed to start thinking about wearing a jacket. And then in November, it was 52 degrees. Did it get warmer or colder? Yeah, it got colder. Now I definitely needed a jacket and gloves and a hat. So when I put all these months together, I noticed something. I want to see if you noticed this too. I noticed that in winter, it started out very cold and it continued to be cold through March and a bit of April. But around May, the temperature got super nice. And then by July and August, it got hot, hot, hot. In the summer, it was very hot. Then when fall started, it was perfect temperature and I was happy outside. It wasn't too hot, I wasn't too cold. But then by the end of fall in, in November, it was cold, cold, cold again. So I noticed that the temperature tends to move like this. It starts out cold in December. And then it might get a little warmer. In the spring, it gets a little warmer. By the summer, it is hot, hot, hot. And then in fall, it starts to get colder again until it's very cold and we're back in winter. So throughout the months, I saw that we started out getting warmer and then it got colder. We started getting warmer and then it got colder. Hmm. Show me a Mitu sign if you've also noticed that throughout the year, the temperature may change. It might start out cold and then get warm, or it might start out warm and then get cold. Some friends have noticed that. I noticed that whenever I start school in the, at the end of summer, it is hot, hot, hot. But by the time it's we're in going to winter break, it is cold, cold, cold. But then I notice after winter break, it starts getting a little warmer. And then by the time I leave school, it's hot, hot, hot again. Now friends, we're gonna head to Seesaw. And your challenge for the day is I want you to think, what will the temperature be like this month? We know that we're in January. And January is in which season? January is in winter. So thinking about that, do you think that the temperature this month is going to be cold or warm or hot, hot, hot? I want you to press on the, remember, think about that pattern we just saw on our last slide. When you figure out what you think the temperature is gonna be this month, click on the microphone, record your answer, and when you're all done, press the green check. Can't wait to see your answers, astronomers. See you next time.